Hey guys, what's going on? It's Soulful here. Me and my friend Haiti Santa comes. We were duoing Chaos uh, Von Bon because I suggested we duo it because it's a lot easier to duo as I mentioned previously. Um, it's a lot easier to duo this boss than to like fight him with six people in here. So this time we're gonna try with three of us since our duo went really really well. Uh, we got him down to 50% HP without even dying once. And so, yeah, we're going to try and trio it this time. I think it will be a little better. Um, yeah, it's me and uh, Haiti here, Santa comes, did really, really well. So we're going to see how three of us could do. It's still a bit hard to see his skills, but, I mean, it's, it's manageable. Hopefully the Zero could uh, not die too much. Like my plan is again to not die for the first 30, 30, 40 percent, because that's you know a very successful start, and that's the kind of start you need if you want to actually kill this guy. So we're doing pretty well for ourselves so far. When he teleports, I I really hate it because you don't know where he's gonna go to, and then he just uses skill shortly after which goes almost across the entire map. So you just really got to keep your eyes peeled on him. And uh, yeah, just kind of hope for the best. I mean, and plus you also got to watch your time and try to stack it back up by hitting him in the dark. So I barely dodged that one, but I still still managed. I'm going to dodge that, no problem. Give them sharp eyes. So we have maximum time still, which is perfect, ideal. Kind of want to keep it like this for as long as we can without dying. And we don't want to attack him too much when he's in the white. Like that. So I'm just going to take this time because I see him to buff up. I still see him. I know he just used a skill. And he just teleported. So we're putting some work in right now. I keep trying to use my puppet to get his at attention, like, over here. Oh, thank god he didn't stun me there. Because I, I use my puppet in the the dark spots so he could walk onto the dark spot so we could get our time back. It's just my little way of trying to help out the team even more than doing my damage. Whew, almost got hit by that one. So it's really good that you know I'm playing a mobile class that also has really good DPS because that just makes me you know unlocks a lot of potential. For, uh, for bossing anyways. Uh, sorry if I'm not talking too much. I'm trying to pay attention because this is a very, you know, high, highly skilled boss battle that you really just got to give it your all. And once you get him down to about 75% or like 60% or something like that, he starts doing the full map attack, which is when he jumps. Uh, if you don't jump by the time he lands, then you automatically get one hit KO'd. No matter who or what you are. Dodge that one, and he's on the black, so we gotta get some time back. Perfect. Uh, he's on the white now. Duck. Oh, I got stunned? Oh, thank god. Taking whatever time I can to buff while I see him. Oh, whew, close. trying to tell my team not to attack him on the white. It's like again, Skype is recommended here because if you type while fighting this boss, like a little bit later on, he'll you'll die like 100% of the time. Cuz like last run, we got him down to like 55% HP without dying, and then we started typing to each other to talk to each other to inform each other on stuff, and then we just started dying. 
So yeah, you you really gotta watch. Oh, that was the jump. Fuck. That was the jump. So yeah, it's full map attack. He does it uh, like every ten seconds or so. I'm gonna just attack him because he's on the black, and I want the time back. So that's the jump. You really gotta just keep an eye on that crap because yeah, it'll it'll get you. And he does it pretty damn often, which sucks. He's gonna do it very soon. There, he just did it, but I think he was binded, so nothing happened, which is really good for zeros. I mean, like to have a zero because they could kind of stop it. He's gonna jump soon. There it is. So now we have to look out for a lot of his skills, right? So the fight just keeps getting more, more and more difficult as time progresses, and it, it gets more difficult than this as well. This isn't the final trick up his sleeve kind of thing. Thought I saw him jump. Now he jumped, so I'm going to dodge that one. We got to watch our time, though, because a little later on, we there's no more portals like that. And so whatever time we have is the amount of time we have left to kill him. So we got to keep an eye on that <clears throat> and try to keep our time up. I'm trying to bring him in this black so we can get some time back, man. But it's very difficult. Because you have to dodge like a million, million and one things. Oh, uh, so he just died there. I didn't, though. I'm trying to keep a keen eye out. Oh, my God. You, the thing you really need, though, at all times is vision on him. Because if you don't got vision on him, he's going to jump and you're going to die no matter where you are. So vision is pretty much key. And, you know, just making sure your dodging skills are... Holy shit, I almost died because of that. So he's going to jump soon. Ah, I almost died by that. So I'm doing really good for myself right now. Only died once, which is by the first jump. The first jump almost always catches me off guard. Sometimes I survive it though, sometimes, most of the time I don't. So, you're just trying to... Fuck. Oh god, I couldn't see him. My heart started racing real quick. Because <laughs> I didn't have vision on him. I mean, as long as my friend here doesn't die anymore, we, sh we should have this still. I mean... Oh, I was using a skill. Yeah, I was using my puppet skill, so I died because of it. Uh, that's another thing. Once you die once, it's almost like a chain reaction because you're going to have to buff up, right? And while you're buffing up, he's going to jump. And since he can't move while you're buffing, you know, you're going to die. Oh, boy, Haiti. I'm going to give him sharp eyes real quick. Increase his damage by a significant amount. Dodge that, no problem. Get stunned, and I'm dead. <laughs> I'm going to wait for him to jump before I respawn. And there's the jump, so now I'm back. God, these bosses are so damn difficult. Oh, 
Oh, I'm dead. God, that sucks so much. I'm gonna wait for him to jump one more time. Come back. See, I was trying to buff, and he got me. All right, there's a jump. Let's try this again. I need vision on him, though. I need vision. He's gonna jump soon, so I'm not gonna buff right now. All right. Oh boy. I'm just trying to stay off the floor and I think we ran out of time there. So that was a, a close duo. The zero didn't last long at all. He almost did nothing. Uh, I'm not trying to trash talk him or anything. He did try. He's just not used to fighting the boss. So uh, that was a pretty good run, and I'm I'm proud with uh, how that turned out, despite not beating it. But um, thank you all for watching. This has been a Soul Production. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this uh, little bossing video. I try to provide you guys with tips along the way. So yeah, thank you all for watching. This has been a Soul Production. I'll be seeing you all later. Peace. If you liked that last video, why not click another? You might like that one too. And don't forget to subscribe.